I know. I wish I could be there too. It's just a weird holiday this year. Yes, mom, I have food to eat. I think I have bologna or something? <laughs> I'm kidding. I have a job, I can afford food. Yeah, mom, I got them. I love them, thank you. They're great. No, the sheep, yeah, no, the Fleece Navidad, very clever. <laughs> hey mom, can I call you guys back later tonight? Okay, Merry Christmas, love you. Hang up now. Okay, bye. Oh, 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 Merry Christmas! Charlie? Hey, you. What's going on? Oh, not much. Just thought I'd drop by, see if you want to watch some movies, maybe play a couple games, celebrate in a little Christmas cheer together. Nine in the morning. So? Charlie, what are you doing? I'm trying to get into the holiday spirit, but the damn bottle won't open. No, thank you. Suit yourself. right? Anyway, you said you really liked White Christmas, so I thought maybe I had a few options in mind. Have you seen the new Grinch movie? Yeah, I have. You have? Wow, wasn't expecting that. I figured it'd be too modern for you. How about A Muppet Christmas Carol? Yeah, seen that too. Okay, now I know you're lying. Well, I've seen the original Christmas Carol. I assume it's the same, only with Muppets. Sorry, why are you even here? I thought we agreed not to pursue things. Right. And you said we would probably be better off as friends, which I have to admit I was a little upset about at first, but then I thought, yeah, we would make great friends, and friends don't let friends spend Christmas alone. Why did you assume I'd be alone on Christmas? You told me you were gonna be home alone on Christmas. You even quoted the movie, remember? Guys, I'm eating junk and watching rubbish. You better come out and stop me. I did, didn't I? You even told our waitress. Keep the change, you filthy animal. <laughs> exactly like that. <laughs> Wanna hear the funniest joke? Uh... What do you get when you cross a Jamaican and a ginger? A gingerbread mom. <laughs> Made. My aunt's recipe. I promise you'll never taste better gingerbread. Mm, I'm not a huge fan of it. Look, Charlie, I'm okay with chilling and movie nights and all, but it would have been nice to maybe give You're me a- about us being friends. Why should my dropping by be a problem? I mean, all my friends drop by my place all the time. Why? Because they're friends. Why aren't you with them? Because it's Christmas. God, you can be so insensitive sometimes, you know that? Why aren't you with your friends? Because they have families and- Girlfriends, boyfriends, husbands, wives, kids. Yeah, preach it. All the more reason we should spend the day together. Am I right? Charlie, I can't, I have work to do. On Christmas? Who works on Christmas? Me, I do. Oh, what kind of work? Stuff, you know, for my job. Really? They make you take your work home with you. Yeah, it's just answering emails and stuff. I don't mind. Oh, 
Well, have you had anything to eat? I can start making dinner. Charlie, no, I need some privacy. I get it. You need your space. All you had to do was say so. Yeah, well, glad you understand. Yeah, sure. I'll just leave you alone so you can do your work. Thank you. Oh, don't worry. I'll keep the volume down. Charlie, please. Maybe I didn't make myself clear enough. I want you to leave. Really? Wow, another disappointment. What are you talking about? After all we've been through? Charlie, we had one date. Yeah, one absolutely amazing date, up until you walked me to the door and dumped this let's just be friends crap on me. You know the worst part? I never got my goodnight kiss. All I got was a stupid side hug and a fist bump. I'm sorry, Charlie. Let's say we make arrangements for next weekend. Next Saturday? Because I prefer a Saturday when you have no work and there's more time. Sure. Saturday's good. Cool. Saturday it is. Well, I really gotta get to work, so... Oh. You're still wanting me to leave. You know, you could have just told me you didn't want to spend Christmas together. Excuse me? We don't have to keep pretending like you have to take work to get to, okay? We both know that I'm going to leave, right? And you're going to be sitting your sorry ass on this worn out couch alone watching reruns of It's a Wonderful Life. What? Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it! I could see the shame on your face! Why would you assume I'd be watching that movie? Because you have shitty taste in Christmas movies, Drew. I happen to have a deep appreciation of the classics, something you could use a little of. And Charlie, why are you even here? Don't you have a family party to go to or- You know what? Forget it. I clearly have made a huge mistake. In fact, I don't know why I thought someone like you would be a good Christmas date. You were a lousy regular one. Oh, really? Because if I remember correctly, you couldn't stop talking about your ex-boyfriend. It was a very recent breakup, Drew. God, you can be- So insensitive. Yeah, I got it. You are so annoying. Annoying and insensitive. Oh, that's rich. Who showed up to whose doorstep unannounced on Christmas, you blockhead? Oh, quoting insults from Charlie Brown. How original. I'm surprised you've even seen it. <laughs> Please. Probably the only classic worth watching. He had it all figured out to begin with. Then quote it. No. <laughs> exactly what I thought. Keep rolling your eyes, Drew. Maybe you'll find a brain back there. Ho, ho, ho. The real Charlie comes out. Ho, fucking ho, 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 motherfucker. Oh, it must be difficult exhausting your entire vocabulary into one sentence. Go polish your Crocs. There's no need to. My mom just sent me new ones for Christmas. Oh, to think I brought mistletoe to hang. The only place I'd be hanging my mistletoe for you is over mine. Ha! I'd hang it over mine, but then you'd fall in love and I'd never get rid of you. Fa la 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 la, la la la, bite me. Eat my road, grit, liver lips. What? Seriously? National Lampoon's A Christmas Vacation? It was made in 1989. It's a classic. Let's face it, Frank. The God and Slugs got more to life than you. Scrooge, 1988. Nominated for one Oscar. One win and another four nominations. A true Christmas classic. Oh, fuck wank bugger shitting ass head and hole. Let's get pissed and watch porn. What? Love Actually. 2003, nominated for two Golden Globes, another 10 wins, and 27 nominations. Every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. It's a Wonderful Life, 1946, nominated for five Oscars, another six wins, and one nomination. Why aren't you wasting one hand and shit in the other? See which one fills it up first. Bad Santa, 2003, nominated for one Golden Globe, another one win, and 11 nominations. Sometimes fools rush in where angels fear to tread. The Bishop's Wife, 1947, won one Oscar and another four nominations. Elf, two wins, seven nominations. The Bells of St. Mary's, 1945, won one Oscar, another three wins and seven nominations. The Family Stone, 2005, nominated for two Golden Globes, another four wins and seven nominations. 
Miracle on 34th Street, 1948, won three Oscars and one nomination. It's a Wonderful Life, nominated for five Academy Awards, and was the first Christmas movie ever to be considered for Best Picture. The Apartment, 1961, won five Oscars and another ten nominations. Want me to keep going? Why am I here? That's a great question. I could find tons of other places to be right now. In fact, I've had four calls since I got here. Great. You should get to them. I will. Have a Merry Christmas, Drew. And you can forget about next Saturday. You blew your chances. Aw, oh, darn. One less crazy woman in my life with bad taste in Christmas movies. I am not crazy. <laughs> you know, I'll have you know, I had everything we needed to play Minute to Win It challenges, and they would have been a lot of fun to play, so <laughs> you're lost, pal. Drew, I messed up. I lied, okay? I'm sorry. I have nowhere to go today. I'm alone, and I don't know why. Though I'm sure you could imagine a few reasons. Scott and I got back together last week, and we were supposed to spend Christmas together. That is, until I walked in on him and Kylie last night. And Kylie, as it would turn out, is pregnant. He's having a baby and happily with her. And I'm standing outside a stranger's door begging him to spend Christmas with me. <laughs> I must look like the biggest loser. I think I'm afraid to be happy because every time I get too happy, something bad always happens. To live is to dance. To dance is to live. Don't worry about the world coming to an end today. It's already tomorrow in Australia. A Charlie Brown Christmas, 1965. Two wins, five nominations. Merry Christmas, Drew. Charlie. It was Miracle on 34th Street. If this court finds that Mr. Kringle is not who he says he is, that there is no Santa, then I ask the court to judge which is worse, a lie that draws a smile or a truth that draws a tear. 1994 edition? Please, 1947. Of course. So what's it going to be? A lie that draws a smile or a truth that draws a tear? You want the lie? I had tons of places I could have been today. The invites were endless and the men were clawing at my door. But I decided to chase down the one man I wanted to spend Christmas with. Oh, I am lucky man. <laughs> Thanks for being cool, but this is so awkward now. You think this just got awkward now? Good point. I'm sorry about all this, Drew. I'll let you get back to your day. Charlie. Really? Friends don't let friends spend Christmas alone, right? You really want to let some crazy girl with bad taste in Christmas movies back into your home? Faith is believing in things when common sense tells you not to. Are you still quoting Miracle on 34th Street? Yes. Yes. Okay. It's yes. I get to pick the first movie. Eh, we'll see about that.